going on everyone my name is Ron Care my name is and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Marvel film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings so this film is based off the Marvel superhero uh, who I honestly didn't know existed uh, I'm going to be honest I am not a complete expert of every Marvel superhero villains you know I'm I'm not like a complete expert on this so I had no idea who this character was so when I found out about this film coming out, I decided I'm going to take a look at this and look up this information about Shang-Chi. And honestly, I was very interested in this uh, reading the comics now and very curious to see uh, also if the film was going to, you know, going to be similar to the comic book or if they were going to make changes to it, which they usually do. I was also curious to see how this film is going to go, considering this is the first of the Phase 4 uh, Marvel films that are coming out and this is after Endgame uh, not including the TV series and the Black Widow film since technically that one occurred after Civil War and before Infinity War so I was curious to see how this one was going to go how people were going to react to it I mean the trailer looked like it was going to be awesome but was it going to be good did it live up to the hype well let's take a look and find out shall we So the film focuses on Shang-Chi, uh, who lives in California with his friend, who are both trying to figure out what they're going to do with their lives, what they want to do, uh, until uh, Shang's dad shows up and comes looking for him. And so now Shang has to confront his past, while eventually making a choice of what he will want to do with his life, and also keeping those that he loves, you know, safe. So that's pretty much the plot without going to further details, because I don't want to spoil this for you guys, because honestly... This is actually a fun story. I, I really enjoyed the first act where we're introduced to Shang and, you know, connecting with him right away. He's a very reliable character. You know, we're drawn to him and very interested to see how things are going to go with him for the story. We also get to find out a little bit more about his past. And honestly, I like how well it was done and you understand why he left, why he's trying to keep, you know, his past hidden. He doesn't want anyone to find out. He's trying to, you know, also... Uh, stay hidden from uh, from his family, or more particularly his father. All the while, they did a great job keeping the story nicely paced, not slowing down uh, on certain scenes, making every scene fun, emotional, awesome, and you can connect with uh, what's going on. And all the while, building up to the final act, which I thought was going to be big and epic, but it kind of hurt the story because it it didn't really live up to the hype and it did give us a big a big fight but it uh yeah it just wasn't what i was expecting it wasn't that great it's, it was kind of crazy and honestly it just didn't feel satisfying by the end of it uh, as i thought it was going to be uh especially after all the bills they were doing between the father and son conflict it doesn't mean it was bad but i did wish that they could have done a better job with it now again I did like the first act. I thought they did a good job with that. I loved the second act. But the third act, I think that's where it kind of, you know, died down a little bit, slowed down, and uh, kind of messed up with the momentum. But still wasn't that bad. I thought the ending was good. And very curious to see how the story is going to go, especially if they're going to make a sequel, which I hope they do. I really did like the story. But it's just, again, just the final act kind of ruined it a little bit. Alright, so the story's final act did not do well. What about the actors? How did they all do with their characters? Well, I can safely say Simu Liu uh, did an amazing job as Shang-Chi. I was very curious to see how this character was going to be different from the comic book. Uh, but honestly, I thought he did a fantastic job. His his character was very charismatic. I love how, how fun he is and how much of a badass he is. And... Yeah, you can't help but really get behind him and you want to see how he does, you know, throughout the whole film. And the chemistry he has with Aquafina's character uh, was well done. I love the chemistry between the two of them. And the chemistry that Simu has with Tony Lung, a.k.a. Wen Wu, a.k.a. the real Mandarin, not the fake one we got from Iron Man 3. Um, the chemistry that Tony and Simu have was actually well done. I was actually kind of worried that this character was going to be wasted it was just going to be another toss away mcu villain 
But they did a fantastic job with this character. I like how well uh, Tony did with uh, making his character, you know, someone you can sympathize with, someone that you want to see how the story between him and his son are gonna is gonna be resolved. And I love how well both actors are able to work off each other. And it's again, it's rare to see the MCU do that, but they were able to give us a very memorable uh, villain. Uh, and I was a little surprised to see Benedict Wong in this film. I didn't expect that. I mean, I knew uh, the Abomination was going to show up, but I didn't know Tim Roth was reprising the role to voice him again. So, okay, that was actually not bad. Some of the other characters, I thought they didn't do a bad, a bad job. It's just that I wish some of them were given a little bit more time, uh, more character development, more screen time, especially the sister uh, of <laughs> Shang-Chi. But apparently, uh, yeah, she was mostly in the shadow. It was a shame. But yeah, uh, the only problem I did have, again, it's just some of them I wish they got more development, but also uh, I wish the conflict between the father and son was resolved a little better. I wish that, you know, we got a much better climax at the end, but still, it wasn't that bad. But honestly, I really did enjoy Simu's uh, portrayal as uh, Shang-Chi, so well done, sir, and I hope to see him again reprising that role. The settings where the film was shot was well done. I love how they shoot it in the city and then they shoot it at night for some of the fights and some of the locations where our heroes are going. And then, you know, all leads up to the one, uh, the big fight back home. I thought they shot them very well. I also love the fight scenes, uh, which I felt was the best part of the film, at least in the first act, uh, which was, you know, different from some of the other fight scenes we usually got in some of these MCU films. Uh, I'm a big fan of martial arts fights. I just always have been. Uh, and the rings as weapons did look a little weird, but they, they weren't that bad. But once we get to the final act, it does get a little crazy. And it felt like what I was expecting, I was expecting like a big martial arts fight between our main hero and the, and the main villain. But it wasn't that great. And honestly, I, I really did miss, <laughs> miss the first act where we had the awesome fights. Uh, the CGI wasn't bad. It didn't have too much of an issue until, again, we got to the final act where I said it goes all crazy like they usually do in the final act of all their MCU films. I enjoyed the music uh, used for the film. I enjoyed some of the jokes they threw in. I was worried they were going to do the same thing they did with Black Widow where certain scenes I wish they played them out without having a joke thrown in to ruin it. But thankfully, they didn't do that. And... They did have some jokes that were actually funny, so well done. They didn't ruin it, so that's uh, that's different. So thank you, thank you for that. So Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Is it a good Marvel film? Yeah, it's a good film. I enjoyed how well they did with this film. With its story, its character, and pretty much, well, everything else. I, again, I was just disappointed with the final act and felt like they kind of ruined it uh, and wish it was done a little better and a, a little bit more with the character development for some of the other characters who I wish got some more screen time. But it was still good and one that I think people will still enjoy. I am very curious to see how, uh, what will happen with Shang-Chi and if he'll appear more in future uh, Marvel films. Uh, I'm also curious to see how Phase 4 will go, especially with films that they have planned for the future. I'm looking forward to seeing them and also looking forward to seeing Shang-Chi in the future as well. Uh, but yeah, this is a film I highly recommend if you are a fan of comic book films or you know you just want to see something fun to watch with the family, friends, or even loved one. Then I recommend checking this film out. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it guys. If you have a different opinion about this film, leave some comments below. Let me know what you think. Hit the subscribe button, check out my Facebook page, check out my Twitter page, check out T3 Media's channel, subscribe to their channel, keep up to date with their videos, and uh, I will see you all next time to give you more love and more entertainment. Until then, take care, be safe, love y'all, and goodbye.